Hello, everyone, and welcome to Meet Madness. So, as far as I know, Meet Madness is a horror combined with a platformer, which is an interesting combination of things because that's not like super, super usual. So, I am very excited to see how these merge together. Now, before we do any of that, as some of you may know, there is a problem with YouTube's flagging of swearing and stuff like that and restricting a lot of creators. So, what I think we should do is we should say our daily prayer to Susan Wojcicki. So, <clears throat> please lower your head with me. Susan Wojcicki, I am but your humble servant, here to bring entertainment to the masses. We pray that you recognize my subservience to the great YouTube algorithms above and take to heart the dedication that I now show unto you and unto those eyes who bear witness to the antics of your humble dragon. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to edit that in post. That's going to be really weird. Anyway, so let's go. So, okay. Controls, controls. I'm sure we'll be fine. and Nothing will be wrong with this. Is that Uranus in the background? I don't know. I don't know my planets. The year is 2104. The Earth is nom nom nomming itself alive. Nuclear winters, famine, and climate catastrophe have left all but the wealthiest of Earth's 10 billion inhabitants stricken by poverty, illness, and hunger. I hate when that happens. Agricultural conglomerate Ima Ingesticorp? has developed and patented the DNA of radi the DNA of radiation and cold resistant crops. Oh, okay. <laughs> I read that as a, like there was a period after. Crops and livestock, but clone foods, unpredictable side effects and high costs leave it undesirable or unaffordable to most. And so humanity still starves. A sad face. Two decades ago, lunar, ob <gasps> lunar observatories made record d -d 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 an astonishing and weird phenomenon. The icy surface of the dwarf planet Ceres, a satellite of Neptune, began to thaw and break apart, revealing an enormous organism hibernating below. Scientists called it the most important scientific discovery of the 21st century. Eight years ago, the first probes were sent to investigate the organisms. These returned with samples of the organisms flesh, which proved to be a highly nutritious mm, nom, 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 and bioavailable protein source, less likely to mutate after repeated cloning. To feed Earth, Ingesticorp now sends mining expeditions to harvest the meat planet's flesh. Unknown to the public, many expeditions end in disaster. Oh, that's actually a really cool setup. I like that. To protect its image, Ingesticorp hires rediscover reco recovery specialists to retrieve neural scans and DNA samples from the miners who meet gruesome ends on the meat planet. Maybe the moon really was made of cheese after all and they just never bothered. In labs on Earth, miners are cloned from their samples and planted with memories from their neural scans and returned to their families as though nothing had gone wrong. Publicly, recovery specialists are known as researchers that recover and transport specialized tissue samples from Ceres to improve their agricultural cloning technology and incredible yields. Internally, it is a known fact that cloned miners face a dramatically increased risk of genetic damage and cancer. Oh, and other, uh, problems. <laughs> oh no. Rumor has it that miners cloned more than once inevitably succumb to meat madness. Um, deteriorating into raving, mad, violent husks of their former selves. You are <laughs> John Meat. Age 27, condition stable. You are a recovery specialist hired to recover samples from the crew of Deep Space Vehicle DSV Provender, an Ingesticorp mining vessel, whether you find them dead or alive, or worse. Here we go. It's the beginning. We already found one. We did it. Yay. Y'all see that? We did it already. Bam. Boom. Your neuroscanner blinks. Identity. Guy Broom. <laughs> Are they all generically named? Wait, why does this look like, um, what's his name? The one who played the Green Goblin. Da not Danny DeVito. <laughs> I can't, I don't know my actor names. <laughs> Danny DeVito is the Green Goblin. Oh, that'd be a sight. Age 29, condition stable. Welcome to Ceres, Stuart. Should I say the meat planet welcomes you here? <laughs> This plan's alive, you know, 900 quintillion kilograms of living flesh. Not living like you and me alive in the way a mushroom or a colony of bacteria is alive. More like, well, anyway, let's get down to brass tacks. You need a refresher? Why is the no thanks breaking outside of the button? Or standing in the crash side of a DSV prow vendor, or at least the crash side of the ship's black box. The whole ship just up and poof, gone, no info, no warning, and just a core months of full recovery. Problem is, we have no idea where the ship or his crew ended up. See, regular comms don't work on Sirius. There's too much meat everywhere. So much delicious meat. Uh, care packages and supplies come in from Neptune Station every few months, but the miners are on their own otherwise. To find the crew, we need to piece together the trajectory from fly recorder info. There are black boxes here at the crash site. There should be fly recorder info stored in the data dead banks. What the fuck is that? 
Oh hell, I'm not supposed to swear. Sorry, okay. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Susan Wojcicki. I have sinned. Please punish me, your faithful dragon servant. <laughs> I've tuned your scanner to pick up on the black box's frequency. Plus C or X to take it out. Wait, we get like two of the same... We get two buttons next to each other? What the hell? What are those? Ew. <laughs> oh, I am so getting demonetized for this. Just kidding, I don't actually have monetization anyway because I don't have 1,000 subs. Oh, is that all? Oh, okay. You can toggle your flashlight by pressing F or Y if it gets dark. Stop flashing me in the face or I'll throw you into the meat juice. Don't you get louder the closer you are. Just follow your ears. Come back when you found five Spider-Mans. That should be enough to paint a clear picture of their final movements. Since you're a rookie, do you want me to enable the gliding function on your suit? It will give you an easier time traversing the terrain. The fruit costs an arm and a leg, though. It's your paycheck. You want the boost. It's got, like, uh, like one of those mechanics. You know how, like, in platforming mechanics, some games actually have, like, the helpers? I'm not sure. I kind of want it. You know what? We'll try without it. If not, then you'll see me restart, and then we'll just redo it. <laughs> and I'll just, we'll just pretend that I never took it, and then I'll wipe it out from your brains. <laughs> With memetics. <laughs> okay, so space bars. So we got run and jump. We are running and jumping. <laughs> I've already died. <laughs> oh, now I'm drowning in ground beef. Oh, no. I'm drowning in the ground. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, what? I'm still alive? Wait, wait, what? Oh, that's really flipped. Oh, gods. Oh, gods. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, god. Oh, okay, I really... No, <laughs> no. Oh, jeez. Have you taken... Okay, yeah. I Look, I don't know how to run and jump. I'm not good at that part. The FOV is like... It's like 50... What the hell is that? What are you? Accessing data ID. DSV Provender XF09 star 1225030 slash 00. Deep Space Vessel. The. Uh, 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 Deep Space Vehicle Provender Ship Manifest. Officers. Let's see, we got Jackie Voss, Wally Gravin, Lee Chen, Alexis Manos. <gasps> the Hands of Fate. Clark Lambert. Fantastinating. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of extra info. Expected cargo. That's a lot of meat. Okay. Uh, so were were we supposed to grab this then, or were we just supposed to record it? Wait, should I just have this out the entire time? I don't even think there's a reason to put it away. To be completely honest. Oh, God, this is so weird. It feels like my eyes are zoomed in enhanced. Why are they so zoomed in enhanced? Ew. Ew, look at all of them. Look at all the meat tentacles and tendrils. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay, we have our next- we have our next jump. <laughs> we have our next jump quest. Here we go, let's go. Let's go, everybody! Yay! Boom, we're gonna jump on the meat pustules. We're gonna jump to the- No, no, no! <gasps> no! No! Oh, what? Wait, how did I- wait, what? Wait, what? Excuse me? Wait, how? Accessing data ID. Can you not? Can you please stop? <laughs> this is Jacqueline Voss recording Captain's Log for January 15th, 2104. We entered Ceres orbit today at around 0600 hours. That means we've officially gone dark to Neptune Station. The ship is in good shape and the crew is in high spirits except for Graven. Fucking gra Oh god, I- I'm sorry, Susan. I swore again. I'm so sorry, please. <laughs> Take mercy on me. <laughs> except for Graven. I hate Graven. I would have thrown him off long ago, but unfortunately the airlock locks are locked. Read his dossier again this morning. Oceania, ex-military. Ex-militarum. Witnessed the wildfires there in 96, though he's never mentioned it. He told me privately that he joined Ingestacorp to escape the slums like us. But I don't believe him. He needs help. I've recommended a visit to Dr. Yi Chen, but he just won't admit that something's wrong. There's this look that he gets sometimes. Like he's... Remembering, like something caught up with him that was he was running from. <gasps> it's the Matrix! He doesn't think that we notice, but we do. The younger officers, mostly Lambert and Manos, have been antagonizing him. Pranks in the mess hall, setting fires outside his chambers. They'll be reprimanded, of course. Anyone who lived what Wally was... Anyone who lived through what Wally has must be a survivor. An entire continent was damn near wiped out, but somehow he made it. We were going to be hauling over 700 kilos of meat in this tin can. Imagine that. 
tugging nearly one billion kilos carved off an organism we barely understand across the solar system like a jumbo interstellar meat wagon. R.E.O. Meat Wagon is our ship's name. And to think my brothers and I had to sneak into a wealthy block sectors just so that we could catch a glimpse of a television screen. And while I don't doubt Wally's competence, I can't have an officer snap under pressure on an expedition like this. We're alone here. If someone gets pushed to the edge, there's no telling what damage they could do to the mission. But now I'm just speculating. What I do know is that if we deliver late, corporate will eat us alive. Captain's log, over and out. Oh my gosh, please. Yes, okay, get it. <laughs> So, do we have to find those, or are those optional? Is this just, like, getting giving us a direction? I think it might just be giving us a direction. I'm not entirely sure. <gasps> More meat forms! Okay, there's one over there. And there's one over there, too, actually. Okay, good. Is there one up there? I think there might be one up there, because our thing is blinking. Wait, do we... We came from... Wait, what? Wait, is there one up here? There might be one up here, but I'm a little hesitant to try to jump all the way up. If we can parkour, if we can, like, meet core all the way up, maybe. Come on, please. Give me the lore. Give me the lore for the meat. I want to know what kind of meat you like. If it's ground beef or piggy. Come on, please. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that's, that's, well, that's glitching up a little bit. Is there one in here? Like, in the meat tentacles? I can't tell very well. I don't know if you're supposed to be up here, or if this is meant to not be traversable. Oh dear. Oh dear. Come on. Come on, meat meat tickles. Um, I don't think you're supposed to be up here. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Yo, we might have just skipped away. Ow. Wait, you can actually- there's fall damage? Oh, okay. That is so weird. Accessing data ID. All right. Oh, this is Li Chen, the medical officer, the CMO. Name of patient Alexis Manos. Oh my gosh. Cerebrospinal fluid. Mm, positive messy reaction. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. There's so much to read. <laughs> I don't know if I want to read it all. Give me a moment. Hold on. I'm sorry. You can't really see it behind me, but there's like a tracker. <laughs> there's like a tracker kind of thing that you can use, and it's not... Oh! What the... Why? 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 Okay, that genuinely scared me. Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> if you stand too close, eventually it just gets angry with you. If you just don't, don't read it fast enough. Okay, I'm gonna try to read it really quickly in my head. Cloned protein. Avoid cloned proteins. Uh, so neurodegeneration of some sort. Um. Okay, so neural degeneration, avoid cloned proteins. Okay, great, fantastic. Okay, well, let's continue, <laughs> I guess. I guess looking down actually makes this a little bit easier. Because if you look down, you don't have to worry. As oh, wait, hold on. There might actually be more over there, too. Um, ew. Oh, there's lots of weird meat sounds everywhere. Gosh, that's so weird. Oh, okay. Wow, if you even get a little low, it, it starts going whoo 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 Okay, that's great, that's great. Oh, so this is where we were before. I think this is the hill. Oh, no, it's not. I'm, I have no idea where I am right now. Also, sometimes you just kind of stop. Okay, I don't think we've been to this one yet. I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing... Why are we slipping? <laughs> Why is the meat so slippery? Okay, Gravin, uh, drill aligned, Manos, they're drilling for meat. Start butchering the meatball. It's an official channel. Okay. Alright. Uh, losing signal. Surface shuttered. So this thing, this planet or whatever, is not happy. Okay, so stuff, stuff is going down. Things are going down. There are problems. And... There are risks. No, no, no. Okay, go. Oh no. <laughs> no, I hate that so much. Wait, what? No, 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 no. No, please, 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 please. Get me out of the meat. Get me out of the meat. Get me out of the meat, please. <laughs> I don't like the meat. How do you make this jump? Stop, please. <laughs> oh, I actually don't know how to make this jump. God damn. God's why. Please. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's horrifying. That's actually horrifying, and I hate it. 
but you can actually kind of get out. You don't really... Uh, it's not, like, necessary to stay out of it, it looks like. Maybe it'll do damage later. Things are changing. Okay, um... Dr. Chen... Okay, so the Manos is... Manos is getting worse. Okay. Antibiotics are not helping uh, Manos. Okay, um... Stand and everything. Okay, so basically Manos... Manos is just dying. Something as horrible is happening to them. Wow. Okay, so do the doctor is accusing them of lying. That's very sad. Okay, um... Speak to me only. I'm writing you no sick leave. Oh, rest. Okay. So now they're reporting in. This is the doctor's log. <laughs> meat madness. <gasps> so this is meat. So uh, Manos is suffering from meat madness is the gist of it. Okay. Meat man Manos. Meat Manos. Okay. I think this is the way we need to go now. This actually... Oh no. This might be back the way we came. <gasps> I'm actually not sure. I'm getting very turned around. I mean, I'll try to cut out anything that's like super redundant, but I'm a little bit worried that this is back toward where we started. I don't know. The meat all kind of looks the same, which I guess is sort of the point of having a gigantic meat planet with a creature, a meat creature. Okay, this is patient blurred vision. Okay, so this is logging. So this is actually one of the initial logs of Alexis of Manos. Oh no, I think this is where we came. I really don't know like what where we need to go exactly. No, no 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 no. I don't know what's down here. I'm a little bit terrified. Oh great, that's not good. That's not good. Please. No. Please let me up. Please let me up. Please let me up. I am, I am genuinely terrified that there's something in the meat waters, in the meat rivers. <laughs> yeah, see, here's the one that was here by the little mini meat meat lake. And we went to that one, and then we didn't go left, did we? I'm a little confused on the radio thing, because I don't know if it's actually working. Like, I'm not, I'm not super clear on that, but maybe I just didn't read it enough. Which I've never done before, obviously. I would never be guilty of not reading the things that I'm supposed to in a video game. Are we supposed to report back when we find them all, too? Is that what we're supposed to be doing? <laughs> Curse my memory! My memory is not good! What? Oh. Ow! I'm gonna break my legs on the meat! So much juicy, juicy meat. Okay, there is one over there, so maybe we need to go there. Let's try that next. This is the only place in the universe where you can say that everything, every time you sweat, it's meat sweats. Uh, medical offices. Okay, so this is Dr. Chen's last log. Okay, so this is the last log of for that particular person. I think we just need to go back now. I think we got everything. Okay, so... <sighs> So I gotta go back real quick and find all five, because apparently I didn't do that. So we found one, two... I swear! We, that means we found four somehow? I'm so confused. I'm genuinely confused. I'll try to follow the path that they predetermined, though, and then I'm just gonna snap to it, because this is a little... I... Mm. Oh, well. One... I will say, though, one criticism I do have right now is that I wish all of the, like, mountainous areas weren't so tantalizing to cross, because, like, it kind of punishes you for it, to be completely honest. Like, if you don't follow... Like, there is one path you're, you're intended to follow, and if you don't follow that, like, it's hard to know which areas you've already been to, because, like, they still glow. What would be really nice is if those is if those things didn't glow anymore once you actually visited them. Um, because the fact that they still glow is kind of annoying. <laughs> like, if I knew. And also, give me a counter, please. I swear we found that one! Okay, I think that was the last one. Yeah, because this is four. Either that or you're supposed to press some sort of button that I wasn't pressing before. But I, I already, like, I was reading through them, right? I was reading through them. All right, but either way, I think this is the last one over here. And I took the gliding, too, because I am not going to go back through that whole thing. It doesn't seem like there's really any reason to not choose the gliding, unless there's, like, a super secret ending, and I just gave it up because of that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Y'all saw me, right? We already, we already found that one. That was the last one to find, I think. Okay, I swear we found them all before. I don't know what's going on. 
but whatever. <laughs> Burn them all? Oh, perfect. What the hell? Wait, what do you mean the obelisk? You mean the tormentor? Hello, steward, are you? There you are, as I was saying. Looks like they ended up- No, that can't be right. They're beneath the surface down the section they were mining. Now the fun begins. <laughs> I'll call for a shuttle to take us to the rim. The meat rim. Are you ready? Why wouldn't I be ready to leave though? I'm like, oh, okay. We're, we're about ready to rim the meat. Are y'all ready to rim the meat with me? Susan, I swear that's not innuendo. I swear it's not inappropriate for for all. Anyway, neural scanner blinks identity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Guy Brimley again. We can't zoom in, and why can't we get any closer to this guy? What the hell? It's your first time on recovery, Stuart. Pretty nifty, huh? Name, age, physical condition. Hardly even need to talk to anyone anymore. I'm done. Well, then, are you ready, Stuart? Do I need to remind you how to proceed? There's for DNA. Huh, you ever scalpel? Let's try to cut at least 50 grams of muscle. Oh, and bone is good too. Gotta get that sweet, sweet marrow. That's what the lab rats tell me at least. Careful climbing down. Recover a specialist of augmented joints for heavy impact, but they won't save you from a long fall. If it gets dark, you can toggle your Zeus flashlight by pressing FY. You can look a good sample if you're as blind as alone. <laughs> Your scanner is wired to pick up biometric scans. Take it out with you. To listen, it gets louder, you're getting closer. Also, don't stay in one spot for too long either. My last partner got sucked in. Poor guy, happy clone though. House and kids, beautiful wife. Anyway, since you're a rookie, do you want me to enable the gliding function? Um, yes, I am taking the glider function because, yes, absolutely. Anyway, okay, yeah, blah, 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 bam, 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 bam. Okay, so don't stay in one spot for too long, and I guess just kind of... Wait, I said yes. I did say yes already. Okay. Um, why is my mouse on the screen now? Okay, there we go. Okay, we have the glider. I just had to go into the menu, that's all. All right, so we have some meat spires over there. I have a feeling that's where we're supposed to go first, just because every time that they have something like some point of like interest, it's usually, oh wait, hold on, what the hell? <gasps> what? That's the biggest meat hole I've ever seen. <gasps> no, 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 no. <gasps> that's the biggest meat hole I've ever seen in my entire life. Are we supposed to go in the meat hole? I'm kind of confused. Is that a corkscrew or no, 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 no. Okay, I'm just gonna stay away from that. Let's go to the first area. Oh, is that the... Okay, so those are the map boundaries, I'm assuming. What happens if we leave the map boundaries? What? What? Why? 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 Yes? Am I not supposed to be leaving? <laughs> Am I not supposed to be doing this? Am I not allowed to? Oh, I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to leave. That's a giant meat pentacle. Okay. So, um... That's a horrendous sound. All right, friends, so I think I might have been a little bit of a derp. Oh. I believe we are supposed to, in fact, scale down the gigantic meat rim. Um, there was nothing else to find outside, though. There's, like, an interesting little bit of, like, um, what is talking to me? Why do I feel like the meat is talking to me? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. Ow. Oh, gods. Oh, gods. Wait, are we meant- are we intended to fall down and die? <laughs> is that what we're supposed to be doing? Anyway, um, so yeah, there's nothing outside except there is like a map boundary, which is a little interesting. I do wish that you could see a little bit more beyond the map boundary, but that's okay. That's okay. <gasps> there's the meat hole! We gotta get to the meat hole! Okay, it's meat hole time. We gotta go find the bodies. We gotta go dig into their sweet, sweet flemsh. Mm, yum, 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 yum. There might be stuff down there too, but I don't really want to fall down there quite yet or at all maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, why does it look like blocked off? Oh, okay. We can just walk through. Oh, look, there's one. Friend. Oh, this is the chief medical officer. Oh, hello. Look, we were trailing in and something picked up on the high frequency scanners. Something big. We rushed through the shuttles and I was, oh, I don't remember anything after that. Listen, be a good boy and get me down from here. Boy. I'll make it worth your while. I'm a medical researcher first class. I have connections in corporate. You don't want to be working on Neptune Station forever, do you? No, of course you don't. You have to help me. Hey, what are you doing? You raise your scalpel and carefully harvest a flesh sample from Li Yi Chen. He winces and gasps in pain. Oh, uh, what? Wait, 
You're not here to save me, you're on recovery. Oh God, no, you can't leave me here, I'll die down here. You need me, you all need me. My work, what I've discovered, it'll take it all from me. This is an outrage. It won't stand, you'll be reprimanded for all this. I'll, I'll see to it myself, I, No, you can't clone me, I don't consent. You will save me now and destroy the skin you've taken, you hear me? Li Yi Chen sobs. He does not know he is too far gone to save. Is that my own inner thoughts, or...? <laughs> Put Li Yichen out of his misery? Hell yeah. Ah, oh, we just... Oh, he he did. He got ripperoni pepperoni. A gurgling noise. Naughty, not... Wait, what? Naughty, naughty. Oh. Oh, no, that's horrifying. The meat is actually taking over their bodies. Oh, that's right. We're not we're not supposed to take too long. If we take too long, we will get sucked by the meat. The meat will suck us. And isn't that an ironic fate? <gasps> okay, well, ship. Mm. Ow. Also, how are we supposed to get all the way back up? Excuse me? Are we just... Wait, are we being sent here on just a mission that we cannot effectively... <gasps> oh, no. Mm. Ow. Oh gods, no, 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 no. I can kind of mitigate the fall damage a little bit, but it's like, it's not enough. It's not enough, okay. Oh no, 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 stop, please, please, please. I'm half wondering if you're intended to fall down and like that's the actual goal and that'll like, whoa, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What is that sound? Oh, what is that? Oh no! No 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 Okay, where are we supposed to go? There was- I saw another hole, but I don't know where to go. Oh god, it's out. My leg. <laughs> My leg. <laughs> okay, um, I think we're okay there. Okay, did I have enough glide? Please tell me I did. Okay, good, good, good. I think we're just supposed to book it. There's another one. Who's this? Okay, so we have the medical officer. Okay, we gotta put them all out of their misery, though. We don't want them to eternally serve the meat gods. That'd be bad, right? Neil Scanner blinks, Clark Lambert. Oh, wait, he's he's tweaking. Who's there? Gravin, Voss, come closer. I can't see him. My eyes, it's using him. It can see through me. She fell. Alexis was bleeding. Let her voice, it was all around me. I've never won or heard anything like it. Then she sank. It was horrible, but she didn't scream. She... We shouldn't have to dig further, Jackie. Invest in just a corp light to us. The heart, oh God, the heart. I can still feel it, still beating. Boom, 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 boom. Why did you let us go further? Now we all die. Lambert chokes and groans as the meat pulls him closer. Help me, please, you gotta help me. I could feel it digesting me, it's eating me alive. You raise your scalpel and carefully harvest a flesh sample from Lambert. He hardly seems to notice. It's alive, they're alive, and they, they hate you. They hate us. They see our bodies and feel nothing but disgust. <gasps> they're just like me. We're like vermin to them. We've been playing too loudly and they want us to, they want to sleep. They want to put us all to sleep. Ugh, you're disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. Get away from me, huh? Lambert's voice is muffled as the meat covers his mouth. Oh, I've seen enough anti to know where this is going. Well, okay. He's rolling backwards like a fruit roll up. <laughs> you feel like something is watching you still. What? Ew. No, I don't like that. Ew, I hate how it's at the end of a long tunnel. So like, okay, so there is no way back. This is the point of no return. This is quite literally the point of no return. We, we can't, we cannot effectively make it back. Oh, that's not gonna go well. Ow. Yo, we're taking slow, we're taking steadily more damage too, which is uh, interesting to say the least. Okay, wow, yeah, the, the it gets deeper and deeper the further we go. So it's like, 
Okay. Oh, so you can... Okay, so you can kind of, like, let... You can kind of glide down the ledges, too. That's good. That's good. Yeah, there's no way to get back up. Not unless we unlock some sort of weird super jump or something. <gasps> meat platform! Ew, it's like a meat tongue. Ew. Oh, wait. Hold on. Where do we go from here? <gasps> oh, no! <gasps> oh, no! Did I just mess up? Wait, hold on. How are we supposed to get... How are we supposed to get on the meat platforms? No! Oh, come on. Please don't tell me I got locked out. Oh, come on. There's no meat platforms below this one. I swear, if it kills me, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> if it gives me an unasked for death, I'm gonna be very upset. Come on, really? Oh god, that's bad, 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 that's bad! Ow. Wait, we didn't die? That's actually pretty interesting, I'm not gonna lie. That's a big slab, big thick slab of meat you have there. Hello. This is Alexis Manos. Okay, so they're not necessarily all biological clones, I guess. Or I don't entirely know how the clone thing is going. Maybe that's just the one character model they had. Okay, so Alexis is the one that suffered meat madness, so. You approach Manos' body. Her expression seems peaceful, as if she were sleeping. You raise your scalpel and carefully harvest a flesh sample from Manos. Her body trembles and stiffens as if she had been electrocuted back to life. Tear your soul apart, more flesh, on all bones, more flesh. Her bloodshot eyes meet yours. John Stewart, we have waited for you. Who are you? You know me? Listen further. Listen further. That's a very strange thing to say directly to the enemy. I feel like we kind of vaguely already know because it seems like the who are you is the planet, but how do they know us? Actually, no. Actually, let's ask that one. We know you all. We have watched and waited since your first call to the beyond. We have answered your call. We will become one again. Oh, we can actually ask it multiple questions. I am a mouthpiece of the Great Sleeper. I am a seed planted to ensure humanity's destiny. And I am freedom from all endless desire. We have such wonders to show you. You cannot escape us forever, John Stewart. You will join us in eternal embrace. And Menos falls limp. A high-pitched ringing in your ears becomes so intense that it nearly brings you to your knees. You can't bring me to my knees, meat monster. The ringing stops and you stand up groggily. I almost thought that that said froggily for a second. You feel hungover. I don't want to turn around. Okay, I did. <laughs> Nothing's there waiting for us yet. Okay, um... I love me a good meat hole. Oh no! Oh, that's not good. We literally have no other choice. We have no other choice other than to go down, down, down. Oh wait, no, wait, there's, no. I'm sorry, I missed it. <laughs> the meat platforms are over here. Okay, let's go. Go meat platform, go meat platform. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. Okay, good. Wait, what? Excuse me? Excuse me? Um, that's not good. I don't remember missing that hey. platform. <laughs> Oh, okay, the meat is whispering to us now. That's great, that's great. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know how far we can fall. I feel like it's actually pretty darn far, but I don't also don't like taking those kinds of risks, so. Okay, where's our, no, 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 no. Why did we fall through the platform? Why did we fall through the platform? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, wait, what? We missed one, <laughs> no, we missed our precious, precious lore. No! Okay, but did y'all see that? We literally fell through a platform. I can't tell if that's deliberate or accidental. Alright, who are you? Can we learn more about our- about our- okay. Okay, well, the game is just broken. That's great. <laughs> We're considered falling now. That's awesome. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're very broken. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. First we fall through a platform, and then we get stuck in a platform. That's, um... Well... <clears throat> Alright, so I don't think those slabs of meat there are actually platforms. I think those are just complete fake-outs, because I, so far, I have not been able to land them, land on them a single time, um, as they currently are. So I'm gonna attempt to <clears throat> land on this brick here, and then we can hopefully get to the fourth one. Because I think this was the one we missed right here. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one that we missed. And then there should be one more. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're upside down. Yo, you're hanging around. This is Wally Gravin. Okay. Gavin coughs violently. Blood dribbles from the corners of his mouth. Just kill me. I can't take it anymore. 
when it takes you, it makes you feel everything that it feels, the whole planet writhing and breathing and speaking. Who are you, recovery? Damn it, don't tell my family what happened to me. Or my clone, I don't want to remember, don't make me remember. It enjoys pain, it's torturing me, breaking me like a cat playing with its food. Just let me die. Ah, <gasps> he's been taken over by the meat demon. It's getting louder now, can you hear it, John Stewart? Can you feel the heat? I thought it said heat at first. <laughs> Can you feel the heat? He raises scalpel add and carefully harvest a flesh sample. Yum, 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 yum. He says with pain and outrage. We will consume you as weak as you consume us, and we will be one in suffering on our great white throne. He becomes unintelligible. Yep, put him out of his misery. Your body hums to its rhythm. You empty your stomach on the ground in front of him. Oh, well, that's kind of rude. You just, like, we just vomited in the, the meat ball pit. Okay, so I think this is the point at which you have to drop down. Because I'm pretty sure there are no other platforms. So, I guess let's give it a shot then. Um, maybe? I don't know. It is possible that maybe we can, like, control our descent. I don't know. Does this count as a platform? No, it doesn't count as a platform. No! No, are you kidding me? Well, I guess there goes that lore, huh? Hello, what's in the great deep dark meat abyss? Nothing. Except a missing piece of lore that ironically we landed on last time, but not this time. Hello? Oh. Hello? That's a big meat pustule. Oh. You've fallen and you can't get up, unable to stand. Your screams are for help are unanswered by the is the meat smothers you. The last thing you hear is your neural scanner blink. Identity John Stewart. Uh just get to go shutting down. Please await recovery. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it for Meat Madness. Okay, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you so much, Kobolds, for watching. Um, some technical difficulties there, and I'm so sorry for my throat being all weird. <laughs> I don't know if it's allergies or what. Anyway, look, dragons get allergies too, okay? It's not that abnormal. Anyway, um, so a little bit of criticism for the platforming itself, and then some things not being necessarily clear and some objectives i would like objective either like if you don't want to work it into the ui like work it into the lore or something too like have the black boxes like deactivate when their data is collected or something like that <clears throat> even if it's not like true to actual black boxes irl i really have no idea but these are these are sci-fi meat boxes so you know <laughs> that's that's just my comment on it as a player especially when you have a big open area and a lot of and players that want to climb like me like me you're looking at it right here is um i like climbing on things <laughs> and then you get lost and then you're like okay where the hell did i go where do i need to go again the platforming is a little jank and the very sudden volume spikes too are a little odd i don't know if you can like yeah you there's no audio controls so unfortunately kind of just need to make everything the same diff volume but only by using windows itself <laughs> So like, it would be nice. It's nice to have at least audio settings for players. Even if you like sticking it directly on the menu, on the main menu, just a slider or something would be really, really cool. But this was super interesting overall. I like the lore that it sets up. A giant planet full of meat and some sort of mysterious planetoid sized creature is very cool. I really like that concept. It's neat for sci-fi. Thank you all so very much for watching as always. And um, I want to get to that other game that I posted in polls earlier too. Make sure to check out the community area of my channel too, because I will, I do want to keep using polls, showing off images, just things like that. Anything that I feel like it would be interesting to y'all, relevant, or just memes even. If you all want to see memes, please let me know. <laughs> okay. Love y'all so much and goodbye. Have a great and wonderful night or day or weekend or whatever it is for you. Yeah.